Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here my name is Nuri and in today's video I am going to be talking through ways to look more expensive, more polished, more put together without having to break the bank. Before we get started don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you do enjoy it. I post a lot of fashion and lifestyle content. I also post a lot of fashion content over my Instagram so be sure to check me out. And yeah I'm just going to get straight into the video and I hope you guys enjoy. ensure a polished look and to always look very chic and put together is wearing all black. An all black outfit is always my safe outfit option. If I'm not sure what to wear and I don't have time to think about putting outfits together, I always go for an all black look. I think an all black look looks very sleek and very well put together and it suits almost everyone. Black is also a really good option for if you're shopping from these high street brands where there may be materials that aren't as good quality. So when you're shopping online, pick in black as your option if there's loads of other colours in like say a blouse or a dress is always the best bet because with black you can't really tell what the material is like um, so it's harder to kind of distinguish whether it's an expensive piece or not. So when you're putting together an outfit and you're just going for those all black pieces, you really can't go wrong. And I think that is one of the easiest ways to look chic and expensive. The next tip would be to invest in good quality materials for your basics. So this would be for the pieces that you wear the most and the pieces that you use to build your outfits around. Whether it be like bodysuits, t-shirts, shirts, blouses, trousers, kind of the key staple pieces that you always have on and then you build your outfits around them. Those are the pieces that you need to be investing in. I feel like it sets a really good basis for your outfit and then when you're adding on other pieces, the overall look still looks really expensive and put together. For example, for me, I love wearing silk blouses. I think that is one of the chicest ways to kind of dress up an outfit. You can wear silk blouses with trousers, jeans, midi skirts. I think there's so many different ways to wear them. And because I wear blouses a lot, they're one of the pieces that I look into getting a good quality piece from. So for example, the one that I'm wearing today it's a beautiful ivory silk blouse and this blouse is actually from a brand called Lily Silk which is a brand that I discovered I would say last year when I saw a lot of my favorite influencers talking about them and Lily Silk specialize in mulberry silk pillowcases, blouses, pajamas, bedding. They have an array of different things to choose from. The shirt that I'm wearing today is in such an amazing quality and it's perfect for this kind of transitioning period into spring and summer. Silk, as you may know, is an antibacterial material. So it's really good in the summer for when you're sweating. I think it's so important to invest in kind of staple pieces like this blouse. This blouse actually comes in lots of different colors. So I will be picking up some more because I'm really happy with the fit of this and how it looks. I also picked up some pillowcases from there which I am so excited to be using. Silk pillowcases have so many benefits. They're really good for your skin and hair. So if you're not using silk pillowcases, you should definitely look into it. I've purchased silk products from various different stores and I would say Lily Silk is probably the best one in terms of getting the good quality but you're not spending so much. Another piece that I picked up from Lily Silk is this black cashmere polo neck jumper. I wear polo neck jumpers throughout autumn winter so they're a key staple in my wardrobe and I thought it was worth investing in one that was of a good quality material and as you may know cashmere is probably one of the top materials for like sweaters and jumpers. It's such a warming material but also the quality it just feels amazing on the skin. So I was really excited to see that Lily Silk also have cashmere pieces in lots of different colours. So I picked up the black first. I'm really happy with the quality of it and the fit of it. So I will be picking up some more like neutral colours, beiges and whites. But yeah, this just goes with my whole theme of investing in really good materials for your staple basics. Okay, so the next thing that I want to talk about is 
ironing and steaming your clothing. Again, I think this is a really easy way to kind of make your outfit look expensive without having to spend anything at all. Some people really underestimate the power of steaming and ironing your clothes, but it is so, so important. You can make something that was actually expensive look really cheap by not ironing it. And equally, if you buy something that is more affordable and you steam it and iron it, it can look really good quality. I just use this steamer by Philips. Um, it's a really good steamer. I've been using steamers for around two years now and for me it's a game changer because I find that the idea of ironing such a chore, having to get the ironing board up, then plugging the iron in and then putting it all away. A steamer literally just changes all of that. You just plug it in, put some water and it's so easy to do. So even if you're just really popping out quickly, you don't have time to iron, just steam your clothes. It makes all the difference, especially with blouses and shirts. It changes the entire look completely if you don't iron and steam it. So that is one of the most easiest ways to look expensive and look chic. So the next tip I have is go Going oversized so buying pieces in a more oversized fit I find is always more flattering and always looks more expensive if you're wearing an all tight very tight twisting outfit it doesn't really look classy and it doesn't look expensive so it's about balancing them out so if you're wearing a tight pair of jeans to wear a looser blouse or a t-shirt again if you're wearing an all tight look if you pop on a blazer that is oversized i think it always looks so much more better and the outfit is kind of pulled together just by those contrasting fits speaking of blazers whenever i wear blazers i always buy them in an oversized fit i just find them more flattering on the body and they go a lot more with outfits and i always think they just look a lot more expensive than if you're wearing a fitted blazer when you're shopping online from these high street brands i would always recommend sizing up one or two sizes like i said before the materials may not be that great and if you don't don't want to spend that much money sizing up can really help elevate that look and make that piece look a lot more expensive but then going along with that i also think buying structured tailored pieces are really important so although i said i feel like it's kind of contrasting um but i think for me it's all about balance so going oversized when you're wearing tight fitting clothes or when you're purchasing from high street retailers is always a good option to look more expensive but another way to do this is also buying tailored pieces you can even buy pieces from these high street stores and get them tailored to you and your body type which will make you look a hundred times better so wearing structured pieces really helps to elevate your look and make you look more professional so although i talked about wearing oversized pieces you don't want your whole outfit to be oversized you want there to be an element of structure so adding a structure tailor piece really helps to do that and it just looks amazing And then my last tip for how to look expensive and polished would be simple gold jewellery. I feel like simple gold jewellery really helps to add something to your outfit without taking away too much from it. Kind of like tone the jewellery down, don't wear any statement pieces if you're trying to look more expensive and polished. I love going for like a simple chain, a pair of simple earrings and just some simple gold rings. And with wearing gold jewellery you really don't have to break the bank. There are brands like Monica Vinader, Missouri who offer gold pieces whether it be gold vermeil or solid gold for a really affordable price and you can really buy beautiful simple pieces that you can wear with all of your outfits i think it's really important to buy simple pieces because it means that it's, it will be interchangeable with your wardrobe so you do get your money's worth so for example i love wearing a simple gold chain if i have something that's open and my neck is exposed i think it looks just really beautiful in this region on my hands i always love to wear my classic gold rings these ones are from cartier and tiffany but i also have ones from missouri and monica vinada which are more affordable and i think even though it doesn't take away from my whole outfit it's quite subtle it still adds something and it makes the whole look look effortless so if someone's looking at you you just look really put together but you can't quite put your finger on what it is but it's all these small elements of having tailored pieces having simple gold jewelry having your pieces steamed that just makes you as a whole look really good and put together but it kind of looks effortless okay so those are my tips on how to look more expensive and polished i use these tips in a lot of my getting ready every day and then once you do use it a lot you kind of get used to it and it just becomes something you don't think about and it just becomes part of a style so i would just say start off with the smaller things if you don't do them already like steaming your clothes adding in 
gold jewelry which you may already have and kind of dressing in neutral tones so i hope this video was useful for you i hope you enjoyed it if you did enjoy this video please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you can see more videos from me and hopefully i will see you in the next one bye